Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to show you a proof on why the intersecting chords theorem works. So, uh, your teacher may have shown you uh, this formula and just said, all right, just plug it in. So, this intersecting chords formula or theorem is just uh, when you have two chords like this, you take this piece of the chord and you multiply it by this piece of the chord and you set it equal to this piece of the chord times this piece of the chord and that'll help you find uh, the lengths of the pieces of the chords and you're probably thinking to yourself how does that even work uh, why does that work did uh, your teacher just make that up uh, so I'm going to show you why it works and um, yeah and that your teacher really isn't making stuff up um, but sometimes it's great to know why things work, and I'm, I'm glad you're asking those questions on, man, how did they even come up with that formula? So uh, there's a couple things that uh, I'll need, and you'll need if you want to draw this out. Um, two different colored pens uh, just to help us visualize things, two highlighters, and one three-sided ruler. Maybe you don't need a three-sided ruler. You just need something straight with a straight edge uh, to draw straight lines. So uh, here we go. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take uh, a green pen or if you have a black pen, whatever color you want, and we're going to connect A and D over here, A to D. And we're going to connect C to B over here. So doing that uh, makes two triangles. And so what we're going to do is we're going to make a flow chart or a, if you guys prefer two column proofs over flow charts, you guys can do that. Uh, but I want to do two, uh, a flow chart just because it's a little more visual. So we're going to prove that this triangle is similar to this triangle. Uh, if you guys remember similar triangles, there's three ways to prove triangles are similar. Angle, angle similarity or AA similarity, SSS similarity or side, side, side similarity, and SAS similarity, side, angle, side similarity. So we're going to use one of those three ways. So now I'm going to take my blue pen. And if we look at these two triangles, uh, they have some angles that are congruent to each other. The most obvious ones are these two vertical angles. So this angle right here, I'm going to put an arc and then put an arc right here, uh, just showing that these two triangles are congruent because they're vertical. So this angle's name. So for this, let's remember to put three letters for this because there's a lot of angle S's, so we can't just say angle S. Uh, so we're going to write angle D S A, because if we want to start from D to S and A, that would make that angle right here, is congruent to angle C S B. So C S B. And we'll make that bubble. And then the reason why they're congruent is because of vertical angles. Or your teacher might say vertical angles theorem. <laughs> they're vertical angles, vertical angles are congruent. Okay, and the next thing we're going to do is, so this one's the tricky one to figure out. So we're gonna take our highlighter, one of our two highlighters. See this angle D? Okay, so there's only one angle D, okay, because there aren't any other lines that go there. So just this angle D, I'm going to highlight all the lines that make up angle D, this line and this line right here. Okay, and if you notice, angle D is an inscribed angle on the circle because the vertex is on the circle. And this inscribed angle is intercepting arc AB. So this angle is eating this arc. Now, I'm going to take another colored highlighter, a different one, my neon one, and I'm going to highlight. So here's angle C. Angle C is also an inscribed angle because its vertex is on the circle. And I'm going to highlight the lines that make up that angle, the segments that make up that angle. And you guys notice this inscribed angle is also intercepting the same arc as angle D. And if two angles, two inscribed angles, have the same intercepted arc, then those angles are congruent. So we can write angle D is congruent to angle C. 
So, and the reason inscribed, inscribed angles have the same intercepted thing. I spell that correct. Arc. So uh, these inscribed angles have the same intercepted arc. So we have two angles that are congruent. So now we can say that these two triangles are congruent. Let's put the arcs here, saying that angle D is congruent to angle C. And so we have two angles. So now that we could say that triangle. So we're going to follow the arcs. So S has one arc, D has two arcs, A has zero arcs. So we can write triangle SDA is similar, not congruent, because we don't have anything about sides being uh, congruent to each other. So just similar is similar to triangle. Okay, one arc, two arcs, zero arcs. So SCB, SCB. So these two triangles are similar to each other don't forget those arrows okay we can't say that these are similar without these two bubbles pointing to this so the reason why is because we have two pairs of angles that are congruent so angle angle similarity so what does that what does this have to do with this formula that your teacher magically told you well you guys remember if triangles are similar then their sides are proportional so let's look at let's start off with this side right here because this this chord is w one of the two chords that we're focusing on but let's just focus on this piece of the chord sd uh, and let's look at how we wrote this so sd's corresponding segment is sc over here uh, so i'm going to write i'm going to make a ratio s d over s c so s d over s c okay is equal to uh so now we want so since we start off okay s d is in the numerator okay from this triangle okay so now i'm going to take i want this other we're going to talk about this other chord right here so we'll talk about s a so s a over okay so we have sa here the first and third point and the first and third point here are s and b so there's our other ratio and these ratios are equal to each other this is the only reason this is the reason why we can say that these ratios are proportional or we can say that they're equal to each other is because these two triangles are similar which we just proved the triangles are similar because of angle angle similarity so we took sd over sc okay so we know that sd and sc are the corresponding sides to each other and then we took sa over sb sa sb okay so we have a proportion there because uh, the triangles are similar and how do we solve proportions well we cross multiply and here's where the magic is at so uh, here and here if we cross multiply if we multiply sd times sb we have sd times sb is equal to if we multiply this sc times sa it'd be sc times sa wait a minute there's that right there what we just got when we cross multiplied and then here's the formula the intersecting chords formula where we started off with so this is why this formula works because the two triangles are similar and we have tri similar triangles the sides are proportional and you when you cross multiply you have this formula which is uh the formula is just this piece times this piece is equal to this piece times this piece uh so that's why this formula works um and yeah hope this helps hope this piques your curiosity um and if not here's a formula just use it uh but uh yeah have a great day